In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a shoppable Instagram feed like this on your WordPress website. So when users click on your Instagram post, it takes them to a product page directly on your website. To do this, we'll be using the Smash Balloon Instagram Feed Pro plugin. The plugin lets you create fast and responsive Instagram feeds like this on your WordPress website. To purchase and download the plugin, head over to smashballoon.com. And once purchased, you can find your download link and license key for the plugin inside your Smash Balloon account. Download Instagram Feed Pro and head over to your WordPress dashboard. Inside your dashboard, head over to plugins on the left hand side and click on add new. Then go and click on upload plugin at the top and upload the zip file for Instagram feed pro like this and click on install now. Once installed, you can go and activate the plugin. And there we go, Instagram feed pro has now been installed and activated. But before we can create our shoppable Instagram feed, we first have to activate the license key. To do this on the left hand side, you'll now notice Instagram feed, hover over it like this and click on settings. And beside license key, you can go ahead and paste the license key you got from your Smash Balloon account and click on activate. And as you can see, our license key has now been activated and we can begin creating our Instagram feed. Once again, on the left hand side, under Instagram feed, click on all feeds. And to get started, go and click on add new. With Instagram feed pro, you can create several different feed types. For example, you can create a feed of posts from any user timeline, a feed of posts from any public hashtag, and a feed of posts that you were tagged into. In this video, we're going to go with user timeline. It's already selected for us here. So let's go and click on next. And now we'll have to add a source for our Instagram feed. Click on add source. And on this tip, it's asking us if our Instagram account is a personal or business account. You can click on the option that fits your Instagram account. For this example, we're using a business account. So I'm going to click on that like this. And now it's asking us if we've connected our Facebook account with the plugin before. Let's select no. And lastly, go click on connect with Facebook. This will take you into Facebook and you should see all the Instagram accounts associated with your Facebook page. Select the Instagram page you want to add as a source like this and click on next. Next, you should see a list of all your Facebook pages. Go and select the Facebook page associated with your Instagram account like this and click on next. Now it's asking us for permission to connect Smash Balloon with our Facebook and Instagram accounts. All it's doing is viewing the information it needs to display our feed, but it won't be allowed to make any changes or posts on our behalf, so it's completely safe. Go and click on done and then click on OK. Here you'll get a prompt asking you to confirm if this is your domain. Go click on yes, it's my domain. Back inside Instagram Feed Pro, you should now see your Instagram account selected like this and click on add. And then you can select it as a source like this and click next. And on this tip, you can select from one of these professionally designed templates for the appearance of your Instagram feed. We have options like the default, simple grid, simple grid Excel, simple row, and more below. For this example, let's go with the simple grid. You can select it like this and click on next. And just like that, we have a live preview of our brand new Instagram feed. All the latest posts from our Instagram account, Green Grove Eatery, is displayed beautifully in this feed. Now that we have our feed, let me show you how we can convert this into a shoppable Instagram feed. By doing this, when users click on posts on your feed, you can take them directly into the product page for the product featured in that post. To enable your shoppable feed, go into the settings tab and click on shoppable feed. Then go and click on enable right here. As you can see, that's enabled our shoppable feed. And now on top of each of these posts on our feed, you can see that we have an add button. This allows us to add a clickable link on top of each post. For example, let's click on this one here. And you can see down here that this post is now selected. And we can go ahead and add a product link right at the bottom here. For this example, let's link that post to this fresh organic honey product that we have on the website. Just go ahead and copy the URL like this. Then head back into Instagram Feed Pro. And you can paste it here like this. And then click on add. And now if we hover over that post, you can see that we have an update button indicating that we've added a link for that post. Now let's go and add a second link. This time let's select this post here. Click on add once again. And for this example, let's use this hand-picked red chilies product on the website. Once again, copy the URL like this. Head back into the plugin and paste the product link just like this and click on add. And as you can see, the link is now active on that post. Once this is done, don't forget to hit save on the top right corner. Our shoppable Instagram feed is now ready to be embedded on our website. But before I show you how to do that, let me show you how we can customize our Instagram feed. First, under the customize tab, click on feed layout. As you can see here, you have several options to modify the layout of your Instagram feed. Currently, we have the grid layout selected, which displays all of your posts in rows and columns like this. Next, we have the carousel layout, which lets you swipe through your Instagram posts like this. Next, we have the masonry layout, which displays your posts in rows and columns once again, but in the original sizes. And lastly, we have the highlight layout, which highlights posts in larger sizes on your feed like this. For this video, let's continue with the grid layout. And if you look down below, you can specify the number of posts you want to display on desktop and mobile. To change this, all you have to do is select it like this and enter the number of posts you want to display. And instantly, that change will be reflected inside your live preview on the right hand side. And just below that, you can also choose how many columns you want to display on desktop, tablet, and mobile. Currently, we have four columns selected, but let's modify this to look more like a classic Instagram feed. You can drop this down like this, and instead of four columns, 
Let's go with three columns. And instantly that change is made once again on the live preview. Once you're happy with the layout of your Instagram feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Next, if you want to modify the color palette of your Instagram feed, you can go into color scheme. And currently we have inherit from theme selected. This means that Instagram feed pro will create your Instagram feeds to match the current design of your website. Next, we have a light theme, a dark theme, or even a custom theme where you can select the exact colors you want for your Instagram feed, just like this. And once you're happy with the color palette of your Instagram feed, go and click on save on the top right corner. Lastly, if you want to choose the exact post you want to display on your feed, go into the settings tab and click on filters and moderation. If you're going to moderate your feed and then click on enable, you can see that we have an allow and block list giving you full control of the posts you want to display on your feed. I'm going to disable that. And if we go back into filters and moderation, and if we look down below, you can see under filters, we can add specific keywords to only show posts or hide posts containing those keywords. You can filter your content to only show photos, feed videos, and reels. And once again, if you've added any filters, go and click on save on the top right corner. Now that we've created our shoppable Instagram feed and you know how to customize it, let's go and embed this on our live web page. To do this, go and click on embed on the top right corner, copy the dedicated shortcode for your feed, and then click on add to a page. Next, select the page you want to add your feed to and click on add. Here we are on our page and to embed our Instagram feed, we have two different options. You can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode we copied like this, or if you're using block editor, you can use your dedicated Instagram feed block like this. And with this option, you can see a live preview of your Instagram feed directly in your web page. We can now go ahead and publish this and check out what it looks like on the live web page. Here we are on our live web page and right in the middle, you can see that Instagram feed that we just created in the grid layout. All the latest posts from Green Grove Eatery are displayed in this beautiful feed. And at the bottom, you'll also notice a load more button. If we click on that, it will load even more posts at the bottom of our feed. And as you know, we've created this as a shoppable Instagram feed and we've already added links to two of these posts, this one and this one. So now if you click on the post like this, that will take you directly into the product page that we specified. Let's try it again with this post here. If we click on it, that takes us into the product page for the fresh organic honey just as we specified. So you now know how to create a shoppable Instagram feed for your WordPress website. But if you're wondering if we can embed this onto the sidebar or footer of your website, let me show you how to do that. Back inside the plugin, as you can see, I've created a different layout for the sidebar of our website. To embed this, then click on embed on the top right corner, copy your shortcode once again, and instead of clicking on add to a page, click on add to a widget instead. This takes us into the WordPress widgets menu. And in this video, let's add our Instagram feed into the main sidebar. To do this, you have the same two options as before. We can either use a shortcode block and paste the shortcode we copied earlier, or we can use a dedicated Instagram feed block like this. And once again, we have a live preview of our Instagram feed directly inside the sidebar widget. We can now click on update and check out what it looks like on the live web page. And here we are back on our live web page. And right in the middle, you can see that Instagram feed we created earlier in a grid layout. And on the right hand side, we also have a second Instagram feed in the sidebar. This time our feed is in a carousel layout with swipeable posts like this. And once again, this is a shoppable Instagram feed. So if I go click on the product like this, that takes us directly into the product page just as we specified. So you now know how to create a shoppable Instagram feed for your website, and you know how to embed it directly onto your webpage and onto the sidebar as a widget as well. If you have any questions about what I covered in this video, please let me know in the comments down below. And if you run into any technical issues, please contact your awesome support team. They'd be happy to help you out. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about social media marketing tips to help you grow your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.